today's topic of discussion is what are the types of shoulder dislocations what are the most common signs symptoms and what we should do as a immediate measure hi everyone i am dr lalit bafna i am a arthroscopy and joint replacement surgeon currently working in sci international hospital gk so most common type of shoulder dislocation is either acute or chronic acute is less than 3 weeks chronic is more than 3 weeks the another type of dislocation is either anterior dislocation or the posterior dislocation where the head of the humerus if it goes in the front of the shoulder it, we called it as a anterior dislocation if it is goes back to the shoulder we called it as a posterior dislocation and there is something called a unidirectional shoulder instability or multidirectional it is all together a different topic of discussion so most common type of dislocation is a anterior shoulder dislocation which comprises of 98% of the total shoulder dislocation and it usually occurs following a forceful trauma or the injury while playing a contact sports or uh, injury while throwing activities like throwing a ball while playing the cricket that will lead to a sudden head of the humerus pops out of the glenoid socket and leads to anterior dislocation of the shoulder there are 2% of the shoulder dislocation or uh, these are posterior dislocation of shoulder and this usually occurs in a typical conditions like uh, epilepsy or electrocution where it, the muscle contracts so violently that shoulder or the head of the humerus goes back to the uh, glenoid socket so what are the immediate sign symptom patient will feel a, intense pain in that shoulder region he will not able to move his arm there will be a lot of swelling and the bruising around the shoulder joint the first thing following the post dislocation the person or patient should seek that he should visit to a nearby emergency department where orthopedician is working round the clock second thing uh, he sh- we should immediately uh, see the patient and uh, uh, we should give uh, analgesic injections muscle relaxants and some times sedatives to reduce the pain get a x-ray immediately so that we should rule out any bony fracture along with the dislocations we should you know, briefly examine the patient look for patient's neurovascular status if everything is fine by doing gentle maneuvers there are many types of maneuver available whichever a formal doctor is trained for he should perform a maneuver and reduce the shoulder in its own position as soon as shoulder goes it goes to goes back to its native position the pain suddenly reduces and that is the sign of relief patient will get post reduction one should get another check x ray to to know the exact position of the glenohumeral or shoulder joint and we should also rule out any fracture post reduction also we should look for distal neurovascular status post reduction if there is any injury to the distal neurovascular is there or not thank you